Hello oh, everyone, Dragon Game Kid from Gaming here, and today on Dragon Gaming's Friendly Realm, we're going to be looking for another place to build our house. And as you, if you don't know, this isn't going to be my house forever. So what's going to end up happening is we're going to have to go ahead and just find another spot for this house, especially if this is just our starting house. We need a place to go ahead and, you know, do all of that. We've also got ourselves a bed in case we absolutely need it. And then, really, just nothing that we can possibly use to create ourselves a safe way. I'm just thinking maybe go around this way. And this is kind of where we were last time we explored, but I... I want to try going like straight back this time. Yeah, you're showing anything else? I'm not. But the idea is to. Oh, hi. Hi, Rotten Flesh. The idea is to find a more suitable spot for. Well, my new house. It's going to be out and about and. Then we're going to build a railway connecting my house to, you know, this other place, so. Yeah. Don't really want to pick up any of your top ones. Um... I'm really, really tempted to go kill that pig, but I won't. This is Birch Force, and I'm really surprised they don't have actually any, like, structure for the Birch Forest. Now it's just a bunch of birch trees and flowers and random generation. Right, now I've got some out of my tail. Apparently. Let's head this way and then whoosh, whoosh, bonk. Okay. Although, I do like these places, but, um, not really stuff I would build on, honest with you. Um, I remember what happened the last time I j randomly jumped in a ravine, and that time it was being an accident. Really? See, like, this is, these are the type of ravines I like, because you can actually, like, you know what, that's actually it. No. Not jumping in that ravine. I guess swim across, destroy all that, and find out where this other ravine starts. And... Now, let's just focus on this ravine. I gotta head this way anyway. Building a waterway down means it's a whole lot safer when I try to go down there. Now I've got a safe way down and up out of the ravine. I don't have to pile anything out. Because I ever want to use this ravine. But mm, that's, that's kind of scary when I think about it. 
fact I could just randomly drop the into the ravine is just a little scary when I think about it. I don't want to lose my stuff. And for those of you who watched a couple episodes ago, you know what happened when I went into that ravine. I switched to creative because I wasn't going to run all the way back there. Which isn't something I'll be doing too much in the series, but... I'm sorry, if I randomly die at the bottom of a ravine, it's not even my fault half the time. Especially if I get cocky around said ravines, then... I, and it was like right after that episode, I'd asked the game theorist group if there's any tips they would give me for how to not be cocky around ravines, and one of them gave me the complete obvious answer, and don't. Going to sleep in bed? He's pump point set. So basically that means technically I'm going to respawn here. Technically. <sighs> now I can't even see my thing at the time. I'm do that. Now I want to strive down. I'm going to go rolling down this way because if I roll down this way... It's just going to be different. If I just roll down this way. Got my stone axe ready. I don't know why I'm still, I'm still using the stone axe and I've got like iron and everything else. I don't know what my bed is, but I am going to uh, die it. And I'm going to boomp, and boomp, there's a red bed, just the way I like it. While we're at, let's just repair my um, axe as well. This is perfect. Actually, this looks like a pretty good spot, actually. Now, the thing is, how do I mark it? And this is a pretty good distance away. It's going to take like a day or two just to get back to here and my house. This actually looks like a pretty decent spot. And then I can build like my town and everything around it. Ah. Let's, let's just build a tower now with just random blocks I have on me. The random blocks I have on me. I can steal because I have no blocks on me. Build a very, very tall tower, and then I will put a campfire on top of it. That way, I can remind myself, oh, this is the spot I'm referring to, you know what I mean? Now, I'm going to add a campfire because one, I'll actually get some use out of the thing. Like, at my house. Have a use for it. This is a good one. I'm gonna go ahead and do it just like that. Put it all the way up. Why am I going 44? Um, let's find the most raised plot of land over here and only build like uh, 17. Because isn't it 18 like the limit? Before I go splat. <sighs> this is perfect. And then we've, we put a, a campfire right on top of here. This means that I can burn this up. Hey. Dang it, I should have built this closer to the water. Oh well. Do it now. And I have no armor. Ow. Not that big, but I wasn't going to risk it. Now let's take all... These can use, be used as my blocks for piling up. Now let's head back. So I'm basically right up next to a birch forest, so that means I kind of have a, an infinite supply of birch. 
at my disposal. I mean, yeah, it's not really infinite, but it's close enough. Then again, I can always just go and get stuff out of Epicent. I'll let you live. This will definitely remember because it's random. Um, this is where I start talking about the cocky ravines. I can definitely recognize that. I doubt I'm going to recognize that in like two episodes or so. But here's the ravine with my safe one landing. Then let's just head directly up a river. Because it looks like that might be where my house is. Ironically, like, theoretically, this isn't very too long. But I've been I spent so much time about the ravine and taking time to get started. I think it is kind of a little bit. But I don't know. It's still pretty cool as it is. I kept thinking that over there was like a widow and mansion. Just because I didn't see anything else though. Okay, let's go get to a new landmark I guess. So I found a place for my materials and then figure out how I can build it from there. Maybe some ideas or something. I don't know. Fuck. I cheat this sort of stuff. Okay. Let's head towards where I think my desert is. A good indication to figure out where my house is, is to figure out if I can find my stuff. This looks like it could be my house. It doesn't look like it. But I'm close to what I think is my house, so. <sighs> good thing I uh, spotted that. Otherwise, I'd probably be dying of starvation right about now. Okay. Yep, this looks like the place. But uh, not it is the place that was a completely different exception. And this is the place. So actually it's not that far from my house. Theoretically, yeah. Let's look at my bed. Okay, I guess we're, um... White bed, and, and I guess we're gonna make a pink dye out of this. I don't know. Fuck of coal. Eh. Pink dye. See, okay, wait, I don't need white dye to combine. So that's still the same, basically. What, what you're telling me. Or just, does it just use the dye? Come on. That's, that's so confusing. There's dirt that I can pile up with. I'll take that, thank you very much. You know, leave this pretty much here. Um, I, I've got a pink bed now. Whee! Now I've got a pink bed. Now this allows me to go, oh, this is a traveling bed, and this is the my actual bed, which is down here. 
Which I think we'll leave these, this one right here, when uh, I move. I'll probably take some of my stuff out of there as well. Let's keep on rolling. Do I have enough food? I mean, I should have enough food to survive the journey there. Journey back to the so 50 50 chance. But then again, I can always just cook animals and take their meat, so. Let's keep continuing till I can't as far as the sun sets and then let's place my bed here in my hot bar so that way I can continue and as soon as the sun gets dangerously close I well you know I'm, I'm talking about it. Gotta keep going. I could try and make it out all night, but I have no armor, so there's, there's that. It's not entirely vulnerable over here. I really, really like these animations, so. Okay, let's. I'm heading back home. No, 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 I don't want to do that. I don't want to... See, that's the ravine I was talking about. Could I try working water into it? Could. Thought I would. And this is the other ravine I'm not going to give too much about. Okay. Actually, if I continue down this river, according to what my map says, if I keep continuing down this river, I will continue and then it gets me pretty close to this I really just want to find another village because if I can find another village I can probably steal a couple things from it as far as the starting supplies and stuff Come on, let's get it there. And now this, let's run out and look to see. From the river, we're going from there all the way out to this open clearing over here. This is the little beacon I made. I told you I was going to make the beacon up like this. So I wouldn't know where I'm at. Six dropping from trees now. What is with that? Is that a bat? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a bat.
Perfect. Uh, note to self, I should get a hay bale, because if we can put it underneath this, that smoke's going to rise up even higher, and I'll be able to spot it far away. This kind of just shows where I have to be. Kung of hay. Over here is where you're doing all this, you know, I mean, like, no, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna explore this just a tad. I actually do want to see what all this is about. <laughs> what do I have to work with? I've got these. So then I've got the water next by, so I can like make a boat or something, which is which isn't bad. And I'm I'm known for making boats in Minecraft. No, seriously though, my first Stampy episode was uh, Sinking Feeling that I ever watched, and that started a. Uh, let me, Like, my first Sampy episode was Sinking Feeling. So, obviously, that means I had a major uh, thing with boats. Yeah, it's so like, I had a major thing with boats. And I always build a boat, no matter which Minecraft world I was in. I'd always build a boat. So, really, if I can build a boat, I, I could probably improve on my boat-making skills. If I have any. I've got spiders near me. But that actually isn't too bad as far as. I've got this tiny little lake I can do stuff with. Huh. Then I've got that. Okay, let's head back to the house. Oh, you know what? I'm going to end the episode here. I'll head back in the, to the house in the episodes. And we'll be starting to work on our house. So, really, it's rainy. I will head to the house in between episodes. And then I will kind of like... Next episode, we'll grab our materials and then we'll start building here. Here, where our actual house is going to be, and it's the start of our t little town. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Yeah.